Walmart haul Funko time! In this video, I'm gonna open up this box from Walmart, this box from Walmart, this box from Walmart, this box from Walmart, and finally, this box from Walmart. Obviously, it's a Walmart Funko haul. Hello, YouTube friends and neighbors. I, uh, this time of year, right around Christmas, right after Black Friday, there's so many deals. Now, a lot of people are asking me, you know, for my eBay videos, they always say, you know, I can't find your deals. There's certain times of year where eBay is where you find the deals, but this time of year, the deals are on Online in stores and any place that gives a discount. Amazon's gonna have deals, Walmart's gonna have deals, GameStop has deals, Target has deals. There's so many deals to be found. So Walmart's been heavily discounting their Funko Pops on their website. Normally they discount them in the store. You don't see them online so much, but this year they're discounting a ton of them on the website. So I broke down and I scratched a little bit of money. Like this is a giant pile, but I probably spent less than a hundred dollars on all this stuff because they're just giving stuff away for the Christmas season. I love it. I always wish I had more money this time of year because <laughs> there's always so many deals. Okay, let's start with this box. Let's open this guy up and see what's inside. All right, this is what this box looks like. There's some packaging nuts. Okay, let's dig into this box. Uh, okay, it's one bigger Funko set and two smaller Funko Pops. Okay, let's see. Okay, very cool. Okay, so this one wasn't on sale. It's the uh, Lucas from Stranger Things. I th think he was like nine bucks and I basically added him to the order so that I would get the free shipping. And I think free shipping was over $35. So I think this was two or three different orders I made. That's really cool. I need to get the rest of the newer Stranger Things. I really want to complete the set because I love this show and I love the pop. So very awesome. Next we have, uh, oh cool. Okay, we have Martian Manhunter, Walmart exclusive Justice League Unlimited. I'm so happy to get that because I don't have the original Martian Manhunter and that one's really hard to get and expensive. This one was like 588 or something like that. Super great price. So happy to get that. Okay. Oh, cool. It came a little bit loose in the package, but I think the pops are okay. I just have to put them back on their stand. So this is one of the triple packs. Oh, this set is really cool. It's Tarful, so he's a Wookiee, Don Hooded Emperor, and the Utapu clone. I'm not sure the character, but it was on sale for 10 bucks. I mean, these originally were like $25.30. I've been putting off getting them because I just didn't want to pay $25 for the triple pack. Even though $25 is not bad, that's $8 a pop. But when they put the whole set on sale for $10, I had to have it. And Emperor looks so cool. He's like shooting out his electricity attacks. So cool. Okay, so that was box one. Uh, $15, $23 for that order. So one of these other boxes must have completed that order, but still very cool. Let's check out this box. This is this box and I'm just, in the corner of my eye, I saw a Walmart sticker. I'm trying not to look because I like being surprised. But the first three didn't have Walmart stickers on them. The white with the orange square stickers that they put on them, which I really hate. But they come off pretty easily, but it's just an extra step. So, But these don't have any stickers, so that's good. But these in here might. Oh, okay, there's all kinds of boxes in here. Let's see what we got. Okay, oh, this is cool. This is Five Nights at Freddy Jump Scare Baby, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. They had these on sale for like two or three dollars, but you had to buy two of them. So I'm assuming there's another one in the box. But two or three dollars, this was fifteen dollars when it came out. I'm surprised they still, I mean, Friday Nights at Freddy's is so popular. I'm surprised they still had some left. And for that price, that's crazy price. Okay, next we have, okay, next we have Aquaman. He also was like three dollars, two or three dollars. And I think this one I might have had to buy two as well. I'm not 100% sure. I have to double check. But at that price i had to get him i didn't get him and he, for a figure that was originally 15 dollars for three bucks san diego comic-con exclusive very awesome happy to get those again like i said their prices they just put so much stuff on sale for the christmas season okay so here's the second jump scare sister again so i had to buy two and i'm just i'm gonna hold on to it i'm sure down the road not right away since they're still on sale for three bucks but in like six months, I'll be able to get $15 for that. It's a Comic-Con exclusive. That's very cool. I did not mind having to buy two of them just because they were so cheap. Okay, let's see. One of the bigger ones. Oh, okay. Huh. This is another awesome three pack. This is the, the Lobot, Ugna, and Bespin Guard. Again, this set was also, I think this was like $12.99, something around there. For $12.99, again, it was originally $25, and I've been putting off buying them for, but for a $12.99, $10.99, I just had to have that. I mean, that awesome price. The bigger things here. All right, I gotta put this box down because I can't get into it with one hand. Okay, next we have 
storm with Blackbird. The one wing looks loose, but I think it snaps in. It just goes to the side there, so that's not a problem. So this is like eight to ten dollars. I'm not hundred percent sure. It was I think it was under ten dollars though, but I've been really into picking up Dorb's rides and I love the X-Men. So for that price I had to get it. I mean these are originally what like fifteen to twenty. So I thought that was a great price. Okay, this is really cool. This is the 1989 movie Batmobile, Batman Dorbs ride. This was like $9.88 or under $10. So another co really cool Funko Pop rides. I really want to get all of these. So if I can find more of them for that price, I'm going to pick them all up. Awesome. Very awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, okay, and then we have another one of these Star Wars sets. Oh, this one got a little bit squished on the box, but it's not that bad. This is the Ewok 3-pack. This is the best one out of all of them, and this one was, uh, again, I think it was like either $10.99 or $12.99. The price might drop a little bit after I bought it, so I think I might be able to go back and ask them for a discount of the difference. But either way, I'm happy to get the set. This set is super awesome. I really like the three pops. I love the Ewoks. So this set for like $10, again, is awesome. I mean, it was originally $25, $8 a pop, still not a bad price, but three dollars a pop i love these big multi sets for that cheap so <laughs> keep releasing the multi sets on walmart and letting them discount when they don't sell yes <laughs> i don't think walmart will keep in business if they keep doing that okay so that's all that box okay let's dig into this box all right that's what it looks like lots of packing materials okay i think this is just a couple pops uh okay this is cool this is the resistant unit bb unit so i guess this is from the new movie a lot of you guys probably went out trying to get this. You know, it's a Walmart exclusive. They had it on sale for like two forty eight, so less than three dollars. I had to get that. Just one more. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. This one has a torn box. Okay, so this was a Nancy. I think this one was still a higher price, maybe eight bucks. It was another one of those ones I added to get the the free shipping. Although I'm a little bummed that it's torn, so I might contact them to see if I can get a replacement. Walmart sucks sometimes at their shipping, but at least they're really good with customer service and replacing things that are damaged. But she's cool. Definitely need to get the rest of these in this set. Uh, I think I only have one other, so definitely set I need to work on. The Stranger Thing pops seem to be ones that don't get discounted that much, so I don't mind paying a little bit more for those. Just because they're harder to find for a good price. Okay, let's look at this box. That's what it looks like inside. Oops, lots of packing materials. <laughs> let's see what we got. One wedged in here. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is the Walmart exclusive Hulk. Uh, I th think this was like $6. So it wasn't like a full discount, but $6 for normal price is awesome. It's still a $4 discount. So I'm really happy to get that. I might have, uh, it's a little bit dented on the side though. That sucks. I might have ordered two of those though, because the cool kid wanted the Hulks. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. So this is a Walmart exclusive Groot Dorbs. I wouldn't normally pick these up, but they had them on sale for, I think, $1.99, but you had to buy two, so there might be another one in there. But I think four for two of them, and then I can sell one maybe down the road for five or six bucks. Yeah, here's the other one. So I figured $2 for him, that's fine. He's cool. I love Groot. Groot's a character I love. Oh, two bigger things. I'm going to put this down because I can't reach it. Oh, all right. This is awesome. Okay. So we got the Ghost Rider Dorbs rides. This one was again under ten dollars. I think it was like nine eighty eight or eight seventy eight or something like that. Super awesome. I guess I was buying a lot of rides because they had them at a really good price. Okay, and then the last thing in here is okay. This is cool. This was the Beast with Blackbird jet. I love the X Men. I love their jet. This is one I've wanted for a while. It uh. They had it on sale. Finally, they had it on sale under $10. I think I paid like $8.98. But since I bought it, I think they dropped even further down to like 4 bucks. So I mean, even $8.98 I'm happy with. I might be able to contact them and get a discount for the difference. But uh, it's just really cool. I love the Storbs. Lots. I've been wanting to get rides and getting them for like $8, $9 each. It's awesome. All right, so I think all those pops were two separate orders that I made. And they added it up just to under $100. It was like $92, something like that. So I thought that was a lot of value. And then this is another order I made. This is a separate order. The All these pops, I think that was two separate orders I made. And then this was its own order. Now this was really cool. This is, I had to pre-order it. The pre-order went up like a month ago. So I knew the second I saw it, I had to have it. And I bought two of them. It's this really, really awesome gift set from Spider-Man Homecoming. It was a 
Walmart exclusive. It comes with a exclusive Spider-Man pop. He's hanging upside down. So that's a really cool, unique pop. I'm assuming he has some kind of cool stand or something to hold him up. I hope at least. Uh, a pair of socks and the Spider-Man Homecoming Blu-ray. Now, you say, okay, why is he one of those crazy people that hoards on the two? Well, I actually, I'm going to keep one for my own collection sealed just because I love the way it looks. It's such cool packaging. And uh, I bought one for the cool kid. It's going to be a Christmas gift. So he's going to be so excited. He doesn't know about this. Oh, shh. This is a complete surprise to him. He is going to be so excited. When he opens this up, he won't believe it. His eyes will be like... <sighs> oh, also, it comes with... Uh, a pin. So that's really cool. Let me let you guys get a closer look. So that's what it looks like. It comes with all that cool stuff. And then that's what the back looks like. Yeah, it says includes exclusive Funko Pop final figure, exclusive Spider-Man comic covers book. I guess it's like a comic inside that shows a bunch of different Spider-Man covers. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Blu-ray DVD and the socks and a pin. Such a cool box set and it was like $35, which... You know, pop would be 10, socks would be 15, you play 20 for the Blu-ray, so there really isn't a premium price, it's actually a little bit, you throw in the extra pin and comic book, it's a little bit less than what uh, they would cost by themselves. So I thought it was a great deal, it looks like it has a lot of cool little covers on it. I don't know. I'm really excited to get that. So I can't wait to open it, but I'm not opening it. I'm keeping mine sealed, but the cool kid on Christmas, he's going to open it, and then I get to see everything inside. And I'll do a, I guess, a post-Christmas review of it. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. So that was a fun haul. I got so, I mean, a lot of the stuff I bought were exclusives, Walmart exclusives, things that you can't buy at any other places. So if I could, I'd avoid Walmart, but since Walmart was giving this stuff away for really cheap, I mean, I couldn't buy this Hulk anywhere else but Walmart. Kind of upset that it's dinged. But I might give this one to the cool kid and then try to get another one from them. But I'm really happy with all these Funko Pops. It was a lot of fun. Did you guys get a bunch of stuff during the holiday rush sales? Did you get Black Friday deals? Did you get stuff from Walmart? Let me know in the comments below what you actually picked up. Because I know some of you guys have been finding just as many great deals as I've been finding. Okay, I, I will show you a, a recap of everything I got in this collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If this is the first time you're watching my videos and you really enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more of it, please subscribe to my channel. I like making videos for my subscribers. So if, if you subscribe to this video, I know that you like this kind of content. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>